you know, trust me on this one. Sometimes I wish, you know, I could just, it maybe it could be real where you find out maybe there is no God. Maybe when we die, there is no heaven. It was just a waste of time when you acted good or you acted nothing matters. You just disappear. You no longer exist. Sometimes I sit and wonder how is it like. Or maybe you're just going to stop existing like those times when you were not yet born. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, as human beings, we tend to ask ourselves questions if this is real. I'm sure we are not angels, right? Even you, that did cross your mind at some point. But let me assure you that, oh, it's difficult. It's impossible. I think not in this lifetime, not in this world where I can say the, way the, the name of Jesus does not work. I've seen it working. Not in this world where I can say maybe being demon possessed and use the name of Jesus to drive out the demon. I have seen it working. I have used, I have prayed in the name of Jesus for a person and they got healed instantly. In fact, I have seen it with my own eyes. We might, I might try to think that maybe it, uh, it's just, it was just a coincidence. But I've seen someone's leg swollen. And I, splayed, I put my hand like this. I did this. That leg was moving. And instantly, the, 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 it's like the, the leg or the foot ended up being, coming back to normal. The swelling disappears instantly. Listen, you know, when you see someone manifesting with your own eyes, you see yourself driving out a demon, burning out by a demon. It shocked me, honestly. I'm like, as much as I would want us doubt that maybe these people whom I see driven, maybe they do things. God has proven it to me. I won't lie to you. I know it works. So you get what I'm, what I'm saying? And as that works... This goes to whatever is happening in this world. A lot of things, crazy things are happening. And some of them, you won't believe them. I have recently seen someone whom after, like some people who do not like that, that person, I just don't want to give too much detail. Remember that some of you that there are close people who say that I'm busy spreading their things. But after they leave, that person that very same day, few hours later, started getting sick. And the manifestation of the demon spoke that this is what happened. And it was so shocking. How can this person... It's almost like you, when you have an enemy, then you, that person who does not like you, this other day, they just come, they give you food to eat. You'll be surprised. Is this, this person doesn't like me. Why did they give... You get what I'm saying? Let me tell you that people are naughty. Let me tell you that on a daily basis, when they begin to hear that you are making it big or your house is growing big or you are uh, renovating your house or you bought a car and nobody has seen that they've just been hearing from people, oh my God, you just see that person that has not visited you for years. Now they come as in like they're visiting. I used to take this lightly because I always... Uh, what is this word? I have this thing like, uh, is it the benefit of a doubt to some people? I would always look at people like that. Ah, maybe this is not what they were thinking. But day after day, more and more, the Lord is making me understand how real it is. How the spiritual warfare is. How witchcraft is real. Because people on a daily basis, they are doing this. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's almost like when people say, I don't have enemies. I love everybody. I usually like saying that, yeah, that's a good mindset to have. But you must understand that at times and often in most cases, having enemies is not a choice. People can just look at you and they decide to hate you. A person can just decide to be jealous of you. A person can just decide to wish bad things for you they come into your house they want to see if what they've had is true just like in the case of in the bible when they heard about the wisdom of solomon they wanted to hear if it was real 
and she said she tasted him in different ways and at the end of the day she found out that indeed this man is wise this man is real. listen the bible makes it clear the pharisees they would come up with ways to trap jesus brought a woman in the caught in the act of adultery and it made it clear that was not a way of being real with the word of god but what it was was inside their hearts was bad motives was to 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 to, to trap him to trick him and trap him and you will feel like oh yeah but they are right listen if jesus did why well, had no discernment if jesus was not wise in the spirit he would have fallen for those tricks even i i admit if discernment was not there at the moment that they come and they show me the scripture that this person has been doing this i would like to stand with the weight of god and say yeah but you are right she deserves to die but the man was so wise and the people they came in the name of love in the name of obeying god people are doing this every day so i have a weight right now in fact right now i'm talking to you it's coming as a prophetic be careful be careful when they come some of them, they don't come in just because they are happy for you. They are not coming just because they want to see and celebrate with you. They come with bad motives. They come to prove if it is real. They come to see your car, if whether it's still fresh or maybe it's not a new car. They come to see if what you have bought is a it's expensive or is those cheap fake products so that they can have something to console themselves with or so that they can leave something and they can wish you bad and i tell you something some people when they consult witch doctors they are instructed that go there they are instructed that go to that place make sure you bath with this so that when you get there make sure you you uh, once you get they leave this under the, the maybe under the, the couch leave this thing just go around the house act like you are observing in africa is real i wish i could just have somebody or a witch doctor who has repented who's now a christian who can just tell you these things it is real and the moment you don't see them it's easy to feel like maybe there's such things they don't exist people are just talking oh my god until you hear someone confessing it one time, my mom did this, took me to this place when, oh. Until someone confesses my friend after, one of the also common things which happens in Africa is that when someone has lost a husband or so, or a loved one or a, 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 a spouse, there's a thing where they have to bath, you have to be cleansed. So even Christians, they do so. They have to go to a witch doctor, they do think they believe it's because it's under black culture. So you, most of the time, you think that it ended up there with people living a loved, losing a loved one and da 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 da. Yes, you will see them going to church, but there are some things which they believe it can only done by witch doctors. So listen here. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. May the Lord increase your discernment and whoever is coming to monitor with bad motives to believe things may it backfire on them may their plans their wickedness not come to pass i pray for your protection anyone who comes into your house with bad motives may they be arrested by the angels of heaven in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and this was the gospel with ishmael see you next time